everybody good morning it is monday morning when i'm filming this i don't know when i'll be posting it but here we are so today we are going to do um three modified blooms we're going to do three blooms we're going to modify we're going to spin and um the colors we are using i will just show them as we go along this is master's touch thalo green i feel like doing some teals today so we're going to Space them out evenly. You always kind of want to use um, odd numbers of things in your paintings. This um, four equal numbers just don't end up looking right. So this is three today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paint down. And then um we'll we'll do the cell activator on top of them one at a time i always have to stir up my colors because as they sit they kind of settle and get unmixed I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did a lot of organizing and cleaning this weekend. We had an open house at my daughter's house where I showed some of my crafts and paintings. And I am thrilled to say that my paintings were a big hit. I actually sold three paintings three sets of coasters uh what else a couple individual coasters so they were very well received and i'm excited to be doing something that people are finding that they like so that was fun and we got to see a lot of people that we haven't seen in a while because of covid and such so that was nice got to catch up with everybody and talk about what has been going on in their lives oh i forgot to tell you the colors that i've been doing as i've been going so i will put those in the description as i always do You'll see them there. As you can see from my previous videos on my YouTube channel, I spent this weekend trying to master the uh, tree ring pour. And I love what happened. I figured it out. I figured out how to do it. However, it is not my favorite technique. And so today I'm coming back to what I like and creating this. It was very taxing on my mind because I had to think, what do I need to do different because it wasn't working? What do I need to do? to make it work and it was just kind of frustrating that's the word so i wanted to come back and do something fun that i don't have to think about too much i don't know why my spinner keeps spinning to this position i must be a little bit off the level so you can see we've got some pretty teals 
Now I'm going to add some metallic copper. I think that'll be really pretty with this. My favorite painting that I did has this color combination and I really like it. So going back to it. And we're doing something totally different today with this bloom. This modification that we're going to do. You'll see what I mean. Okay. This is perhaps my favorite color coming up here. It's called Guatemalan Green. It is a pretty beachy kind of teal. with some iridescence in it. Okay, here we come, last color. I'm thrilled with this one too. Deco Art Rose Gold. I love rose gold. It is my, along with the copper, it's my favorite metallic. I'm not really a gold and silver person. I like that that little bit of uh, redness, I guess you'd call it, in the copper and the rose gold. Okay. First of all, I'm going to put a couple sticks under my board because something is off kilter under my spinner I mean there that seems better okay now we're going to get our toothpick I better put these ties on my shirt out of the way before I get them in the paint so I'm going to go through I'm going to pop my bubbles Okay. Most people will probably find it odd that my favorite technique is the hardest one of all that people struggle the most to perfect. And the fact is, I've done more of these than anything else, and once I got it, I just kept doing them. And now it's kind of very simple for me. So let's see, let's start with this one in the middle. We're going to put our cell activator in there. Let me get my little mini blow dryer. Which, here's what I did. I brought a power strip down here. So I could plug my three objects in and... It's all tangled up. Now I have the room I need. So here we go. We're going to do this center one first. Good. Now I'm going to put the cell activator on another one. I don't like to let it sit too long. It kind of just gets all weird on me. It comes straight down at it. And then I go out. I'll fix that in a minute. And you'll see. see watch that one. Cells are going to continue to come up.
as I sit here and fiddle with the other one. I'm straight down at it to kind of get it spread out. Okay, that's good enough for me. Now, see all the other cells that popped up just while I was over here doing this one? That's what happens. You gotta give it some time. I'm gonna take my turkey baster. Blowing straight down into it and look at all those cells that come up. So what this is doing, it's all about chemistry. Um, you will see that I have posted a mixing video before this one. I don't have it numbered yet. I think it might be number 19. But um, what happens is, with this process, is your black paint is lighter, is heavier than the colors underneath. So the black paint is sinking down, the colors are coming up through it, and that's how you get the cells. Um, that is not to be confused with thicker and thinner. So our base paint, the white, the pillow, is thicker. The colors are a little thinner, so they can, so the black can go down through them, and the black is a little thinner too than the colors so it, it's kind of confusing so now what we're going to do is do I want to I think we're going to modify it first a little bit and then we'll spin so what I want to do is where these blooms come together, I kind of want to swirl, do some swirlies so that it doesn't look like three separate blooms. And I want to get rid of this little blob right here. Okay. You want to wipe your tool every time you swipe. ready now we're just going to do some crazy modifying on the edges this is this is going to take away from the look of the ordinary bloom so that we're getting something a little bit different you'll see what i'm going for This is really pretty. Going more abstract here rather than trying to make the petals that we usually make in a modified bloom. We're just going wild. Pretty pathetic if this is as wild as we get in life, but <laughs> I want to get rid of some of this white here, kind of break that up. There we go. See, now it's not so bold, it's not so you know, oh gosh, look at all that white in there. breaking up the white. So I like this here. Uh, we've got that broken up well. We kind of need to do just a little bit more here. 
most of that will probably spin off. Let's get ourselves a little wisp or two here. I still don't like that blob of white right there. There, I like that. Let's do that with this. There. Nice. And it's kind of... Alright, what do you think? I think I like it. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to spin. And then we may even tilt a little bit. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. Here we go. And I kind of want this to expand over the whole canvas. Like it's doing. Oh, isn't that pretty? So we're going to have to tilt a little bit over that way. When we're done, let's spin it the other way. So you can tell where I'm most happiest. I'm most happiest with this technique. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're done spinning because we're kind of losing that off over that way. So let me get a pair of gloves because I don't want to get all dirty here. I'm going to put on my decent gloves today. Oh, this is just gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All right, here we go. Now we're going to start tilting. We're going to bring this. We're going to center this over here. And then we're going to come down. I want to get some of these. I want it to cover the whole canvas, like color to cover the whole canvas. Oh, yes, this is getting pretty. See where we're going? We're going down. So this is not only a modified bloom. This is a modified tilted bloom which is not something that we do very often. Actually, I've never done it yet, so what am I talking about? Okay. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. So happy. And I'm back in my comfort zone. You know, there's a lot to be said for going outside your comfort zone, but sometimes it just takes so much energy and concentration. And some days I just don't have that. It's too much in my head. And so there's... Like Bob Ross would say, this is a happy little painting. It made me happy to do it. Oh, I love it. And it's a shame to get rid of these gloves. I'm going to wipe this off. I really didn't get dirty at all. Eh, it's making a total mess. We'll throw out the gloves. This is lovely. You can see the copper. You can see the rose gold. You can see. I just love the color combination. I'm happy with this just as it is. Took up most of the painting. So when you do want to. Um, when you want blooms to cover a larger area. Just use more colored paint in your bloom. And you get it. It spreads. It's got the room to go. 
So I'm going to take you down here. I'm going to show you the finished product. Pretty. We'll zoom in. Look at that copper and rose gold peeking up through there. All oh, those colors. I just love them all. I like the swirls. It's, it gives you a different look than just a plain, ordinary bloom. So, that is it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to pop them in the comments. I would appreciate it if you um, like and subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you're notified. It's a little bell. You'll see a little bell on YouTube there. Turn on your notifications so you're notified when I post a new video. All right, everybody, enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your week, and I hope you have a good one. Take care.